of Black History Month, iconic judge Damon Keith has opened his chamber doors today for the 28th annual Soul Food Luncheon. Our Jim Kurtzner is there right now. Jim, always a special day for this event. Joanne, when you go through the chambers of Judge Damon Keith, it's like walking through a museum of American civil rights history. These are some of the past recipients of his award. This is Rosa Parks, Aretha Franklin. Twice he swore in Jennifer Granholm when she was first elected governor and then her reelection to a second term. And here is the man of the hour at, I look this up, am I right that you are 92 years young, Judge? Yeah, I'm 92 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm delighted that God has given me these wonderful years and has blessed me with a lovely family, a lovely profession, uh, colleagues on the bench, and I'm just enjoying life and am so happy that about 400 citizens of Detroit, the governor wrote a nice letter. He could not make it. It's the first one he's missed. Uh, the mayor was here, uh, Etzel Ford, and uh, so many more to celebrate Black History Month. It's very important that we recognize blacks who have done well. And Walter Douglas, our honoree this year, uh, has done exceptionally well. Uh, he is, of course, the head of uh, Avis Ford, but in addition to that, he has just made so many. He was the head of New Detroit. He's on the board of uh, the Museum of African Art. Uh, in fact, Ms. Moore is going to present him with the award. He's been very active in the community. And one of the yardsticks that we use to determine who should get the award is have they given back to the community that which God has given to them? Let me interrupt you right there, Your Honor. I apologize, but this is live television. You have certainly given back to the community. We are going to explore this more in depth later, thank right here on Channel 7. Thanks for allowing us in. Oh, thank you for inviting me. We will talk further. It's your party. Everybody's here. Back to you. All right. We look forward to much more later on. Jim, thanks so much.